Hello again and tally ho. Okay, a uh, little short uh, movie on the igniter system for this six horsepower Galloway engine. I like this little engine. It only weighs about uh, 1,500 pounds on its carriage. Nice and easy pocket size, you might say. Uh, I just wanted to let you know about the ignition system on this. It is not a magneto ignition. It is meant to run on a battery with a uh, low tension coil. And you detach the low tension coil to the high side. And this is a ground. And I always run the, the, the ground to the ground on the igniter. And it is called an igniter. And it's a very, very simple device and we'll pop it out and we'll take a look at this and you can see just how simple this system is whenever this trip lever moves forward it breaks the point or con makes contact with the points inside you can adjust your point gap here that's what this little lever is. Right there, that's your point gap. And whatever it is out here, it is inside. Which is very nice. Because whatever you set here, you know that you have it on the inside and you don't have to pull it off every time you need to reset it. And sometimes you do want a little hotter or colder uh, spark, so that's how you would accomplish that. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. Okay, here we go. The igniter. This is your spark plug and, and points and no condenser or anything like that. This is just it for a hidden miss. Now, I have to move this out of the way in order to take this out. So I've disconnected the two wires that are on it uh, for the battery. Make sure it's not hot at all. And then I scribed a line right on the side here beside the casting so I'll be able to get it right in the same spot. Slide it, oh, loosen the bolt and now I can slide it back out of the way. These are a 7 8 inch bolt and you cannot, you cannot get into this one very easy. Uh, this blocks you from getting a socket on it just enough where it's going to be a pain with a wrench. No clearances. But I'll get this thing out. I'll save you the boredom of that. So be right back with another little clip. Okay, here we are again. Now I have the two nuts, upper and lower, off. And yeah, this one was a real bugger. I've actually scarred the nut, which I didn't want to do at all. Um, you can see here where the wrench came off. And this is even in worse shape. But I'm going to put them back on. Better to have the originals. They've worked for a hundred years. They'll work a little bit longer. No, there are no lock washers, no washers. And I think I was the first one to take this stupid thing off in decades, so... Anyhow, it isn't stupid, it's ingenious. I'm going to pull this igniter out. And that's what I'm calling it, an igniter. And on the inside, you will sign and find what is in essence a point that will open and close. And you want to keep the contact surfaces between the, this is a brass stud. As ugly as it is, it is a brass stud right there. Excuse me, I almost dropped you. And this is a cast iron finger or lever with a brass inset. Turn it this direction, maybe you can see some of the detail in it. But you also note that there are burn marks in this. 
And yes, I did clean this up so you'd be able to see it. Uh, without cleaning it, it looked like the lever. And I do believe this was our problem and why it would not fire. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and look it over, make sure there's no cracks, and stick it back into the head. And just like all spark plugs, you'd think that it would be in the cylinder or right beside the cylinder. And on this engine, I can stick my finger right in and feel that there is a, a hole down to the um, head up here. It, this ends the cylinder actually right here. But there is a hole in, uh, through the top into this little chamber. And so this is part of your compression area also. And it uh, creates a spark in a chamber which flash fires over uh, into the cylinder to ignite it. And that's kind of kind of cool. It's uh, a very, I would think, cold way to do it. Uh, cold as in COLD where it would not have as hot of a uh, ignition system. It would work a little bit better, uh, especially with lower grade fuels, uh, high, very high compression. Uh, just to show you how big the cylinder is. That. Now, I'm six foot and my hands spread apart just at six inches from there to there and there to there. So that makes a full foot of cylinder. And it's got a heck of a big uh, stroke on it, too. So, after this deluge of rain and the carbon issue, we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together, and then we'll see if it will fire for you. Bye.